We're everywhere and anytime. Subscribe today. Bakersfield.com. The shot. Bartle. I'm sorry. Bartle. I was too busy eating pizza. Bartle, you have a very nice shirt on today. I mean, Thank you got you. all dressed up. Yeah, you look good. Yeah. No, I just like, it was chilly this morning. So I wanted to wear a long sleeve shirt, but I knew it was going to be 70 today. So I wasn't going to wear a sweater. Yeah. Forget, forget having 20s. We're done with that. It's 70s all the time now. Yeah, it's 70 all of a sudden. We're back. We're back, folks. Uh, Mount Mike's Pizza. Thank you to Mount Mike's for providing today's pizza, as always. Two locations. One on California and Stockdale. What? You're adjusting the camera while we're yeah. live? Did, did we do any work what for is, this what show? What is going on here? Do we have to run the cameras, too? Is this anarchy? What our money back? <laughs> <laughs> what do we look like here? What do we nah. We've done this before, no? All right. Ryan Hull, Kevin Bartle, JF Wool joining us here for Coach's Corner. and Welcome, uh, Coach. Welcome, Coach. Thanks. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for taking your time yeah. and spending it with us. What, which slice of pizza are you going to go with? None today. Come on. No, I'm uh, staying away from pizza. Is that a New Year's resolution? Or is it just a... No, it's just... Uh, it's, I got I to gotta lose a little bit of weight, so I'm staying away from the pizza. <sighs> That's the dumbest idea I've ever heard of. <laughs> it's, it's a terrible idea. Eat your own. Bartle, oh, Bartle could not go. I mean, how many pizzas a week is it? All right. I have a physical addiction to pizza. If I don't have it after like five days, I start like that's all I can think about. I'll be laying in bed thinking, oh, maybe I'll get pizza for lunch tomorrow. Like I, it's, it's a problem. It's a problem, and I admit it. See, it's one of the only reasons we do this show, or at least, <laughs> or at least Bartle. Uh, coach, uh, over the weekend, the Condors uh, get a split against uh, two Pacific Division teams, Stockton and, and Ontario, and a kind of a roller coaster weekend. The Condors uh, get a nice win on Friday night, start out hot on uh, Saturday, but it dipped a little bit there with the finish. But overall, you get a split at home uh, on the weekend. Not a bad weekend uh, whatsoever. Yeah, not bad. We, we wish we could uh, get, get that with that win or at least get a point on the last game. But, uh, you know, hockey sometimes is a funny way to, to go. The momentum shifts and, uh, you know, we, uh, we kind of stop playing a little bit at the end and uh, it cost us. But uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll learn from it as a team. You know, that Ontario game, was it really uh, uh, the loss? Was it really a product of what the Condors didn't do or did Ontario just make the right adjustments? No, I think they they made the right adjustment, and you know, we kind of beat ourselves a little bit too. Uh, you know, it's it's just how it was going for for that game, you know. But uh, uh, for the most part, I thought we came out uh, hard the next day, and uh, you know, that was a message to our guys: just come out and play hard, play physical. And I thought the physical part was there all, all weekend. When you look at this Condors team, early on in this season, uh, the team had had uh, their struggles in holding leads and uh, kind of what we saw on Saturday night. Uh, was it? But over the last couple of weeks, this team's been very good, especially when up a lead, especially when going into the third period with leads. Was it just a little bit of a, you know, maybe a, a wake-up call for this team that, you know, hey, we've come a long way, but, you know, there's still work to be done here over the last couple of months of the season? Yeah, I think it's very important. You can't, you can never be complacent at this game. And uh, yes, we we had a lot of leads lately, and we've won a lot of a lot of those games. And uh, you know, sometimes you get a little complacent and uh, couldn't close out that last one. So, uh, but uh, I think our players realize that uh, that we need to be better, and uh, they're all accountable for it. It was a physical weekend. Here we see another fight. There was a bunch of fights though on the weekend. It's something we haven't really seen a whole lot of at home. Uh, it, I had my own theories, but. What do you think the reason for so so many more fights on the road as opposed to at home? You know, I have no idea why. I have no idea <laughs> just, why. It's just how it it's been. But like you saw this this weekend, it was a little bit more more physical, and that that's you know that's what we ask out of our players. You know, to and it's not about the fights, it's about you know the hard hitting, finishing your hits, getting on the four check, applying the pl the pressure, and you know that's what we that's what we did. What was your own theory? Yeah. You kept saying you had your own theory. I have a theory. He has a theory. Well, my theory is that we that we don't go out looking for it. This Condors team, you know, they play physical. They don't back down, uh, but they don't go out looking for it. And I think I think when when teams get on home ice, I think that's when teams do go out and look for it. Teams that do like Stockton, you know, if you're going into Stockton, you're going to get a fight. They like to do it. Their fans get up, uh, get up for it, and you know, uh, pretty so, good theory. But that was my theory, anyways. Is the Condors they answer the bell. They yeah. they drop the mitts when they're challenged, uh, but they're not going out there every night looking to start fights. It's pretty good theory. Thank uh, you, thank you. It's, it's good, but you know, for me, uh, fighting is is a momentum thing. 
you, you fight to change a momentum or to protect a player. For me, that, that's what it is. You know, you, you're down a couple goals, you need a spark. You know, that could be a momentum change w w with a fight. Or, uh, you know, when your teammates get hit uh, dirty or unfair, I think it's okay to, for your teammate to go defend them. Well, That's knowing that, in the Friday game, C.J. Ludwig gets in a fight in the first uh, couple of minutes of that game. Yeah. It certainly seemed like, and especially the next, it always seems like that next shift is so important uh, after a fight in terms of who's going to get the momentum after something like that happens. And the Connors went out, they took the momentum, and they ended up winning that game against Stockton. Yeah, you know, it is a momentum thing. And, uh, you know, like you said, it all depends on the next shift and just uh, after a goal as well, you know. And the same thing with the last minute of every period. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we got scored against uh, in the last minute twice on the, on the last game. And, and that's tough. It's tough for a team to recover from that and uh, for the mental part of hockey. You know, uh, giving, up a lead or giving up a goal in the last minute is tough. But the last minute of a hockey game, though, I mean, you guys were so close to at least getting to overtime, and uh, you know, I mean, what was what was the the feeling on the bench? It was like stunned in the in the, in the stands, anyways. Yeah, no, it's it's never fun. It's never fun to to lose like that. But uh, you know, like I told the players uh, the day after, you know what? I, I was mad, but you know, what? it's a lesson. It's a lesson that we need to to learn as a team. That you know, if you have a big lead like that, you you know, you got to play better defensively and less turnovers and. And little things like that, but uh, you know, it's all through uh, throughout the year. The the losses and the wins are, should be lessons leading up to playoffs to make you a stronger team, and that's what uh, that's what we're doing right now. And it's an important lesson for this Condors team because you look at the opponents. Well, who do we get tomorrow night? The same team that came back on the Condors Saturday, and a chance for this Condors team to kind of right the wrong from Saturday night down in Ontario. Uh, we go on the road uh, for the first time in three weeks here to take on the Ontario Rain tomorrow night. Yeah, it should be a good game. Uh, you know, that's that's the thing in this league. You, you play the same teams over and over again, so you always have a chance to redeem yourself. And, uh, you know, if you lose uh, two games in a row, well, you can make it up pretty quick by winning a couple more. So, uh, you know, it's it's a closed division. It's going to be close all year, and uh, it makes it for, for fun hockey. You know, you've had a little bit of a lineup shuffle uh, over the last few weeks, honestly, since, since Winquist and the Jones brothers went up. Uh, but I think the team has responded. I, you know, we've gotten additional scoring from guys. Uh, all your little changes seem to have worked. You changed up the lines again there uh, before the weekend. Everybody seemed to respond nicely. Uh, so uh, overall, I like the way this team has played here over the last month. No, I mean, our players are giving everything they have. I mean, they, you know, they're not trying to lose. You know, obviously, they're, 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 they're working hard. And uh, we did shuffle a couple of things. We, you know, try to find some sparks here and there. Uh, and, and guys are producing uh, and ch chipping away. You know, each player's uh, one night will be one player, another night will be another player. And that's what we need and, uh, uh, to get some wins. We finally get a look at the Colorado Eagles here this weekend. You mentioned we play everyone all the yeah. time. We haven't played Colorado yet. It's true. Uh, when you look at this weekend series uh, against the Eagles, another good test for this Condors team. You pay, you're, you're, you're facing two teams here that are in playoff positioning and a chance to kind of measure yourself and, and see where you're at uh, as far as the Pacific Division goes. Yeah, it's great. It's great to play a new team, and we haven't seen Colorado and the uh, and we're almost halfway through here, so it's going to be fun. And, uh, you know, they're doing well as well. So, uh, you know, we have to, to get a good uh, game plan together and then be ready for that team. I'm sure they're going to come in here and want to take some points away, but uh, uh, I'm sure we'll give a, a good, uh, good pushback. Have, have you seen the Superstars before? <laughs> uh, I saw them on your screen a minute ago. And, uh, it's kind of weird animals there, huh? Yeah. They're weird. Yeah, they're weird. They're funny. There's no Canadians on there, though. Yeah, there's, there's not. Montreal Canadiens. Yeah, funny. congratulations, uh, by the way, Team Canada. Yeah, I was uh, sent a note to the coach there, uh, Ben Grew. I, uh, you know, I have a lot of respect for him. He, uh, I coached against him the last couple of years, the last four or five years, and uh, we have a pretty good relationship, and uh, he did a great job with that team. How nervous were you? During the game last night, I mean, you must have watched. How nervous were you on the comeback uh, when Russia? Yeah, I, I was watching. I wasn't watching it live. I was watching, uh, listening on the on the radio and listening, looking at the the computer. And the, it's pretty nerve wracking. But uh, <laughs> you know, like uh, in hockey, momentum changes so quick. You know, three goals in a row for for Russia, and they're right back in. And uh, that's why we love the game so much. And uh, you never know what's going to happen. It's, it's hockey. Some, some great prospects, but but probably one of the bigger prospects, uh, Edmonton Oilers defenseman uh, prospect uh, Darnell Nurse. Ends up being one of the top defensemen in the entire tournament, and really was a man amongst boys back there uh, on the blue line. Yeah, you know he's a big boy, and he he plays physical too. He plays a physical game, and he's not afraid to to get in there and get his nose dirty. And uh, I think he's got a he's got a bright future for for the Edmonton Oilers. Any of your ex players on that team? 
Uh, no. All right. No. Just, just asking. Come I, on, Bartle. I didn't do prep on that one. <laughs> I, that's good. Juniors, I, I didn't. So. Uh, the Condors that take on Colorado this weekend, Ontario Wednesday night, Friday, Saturday at home. Uh, before we let you go, we have our, our guest in studio here as well, CJ Ludwig. What has he meant to, for this Condors team coming back on the blue line? And it really bolts stints here for CJ have started off well. Well, he's a, he's a solid defenseman for us. You know, he's uh, he plays uh, he plays everywhere. He plays a uh, power play, penalty kill. He's a physical player, moves the puck well. He's got a great hockey sense. So it's it's nice to have Luddy back, and uh, you know we're going to do everything we can to to get him back up in the in the AHL, and uh, and he's been playing very well for us. You you don't lie to him when they call and check in on. Him. So we can st- <laughs> so we can stick around for a little bit. Yeah, no, that that, <laughs> that would be the selfish thing to do. But uh, <laughs> yes. we're not a about legitimate question. I, yeah. we're not about I'm being I'm selfish. Right. <laughs> uh, if you're not having pizza for lunch, what are you gonna have for lunch then? Ah, bean salad. You lie. No, I already ate it. God, that is disgusting. Goodness. And cottage cheese. Are you still going to be happy-go-lucky, you know, J.F. Fool after all this? Or you, Probably is, not. Is the mood getting down? No. <laughs> He's blowing my mind right now. I don't know what's going on here. J.F., we appreciate the time. Right, thanks. thanks for coming over. Good yeah. luck this week. We'll see yeah. you in Condor's Town for happy Saturday New Year. night. Yeah. How long is it too long to say Happy New Year to someone? Uh, the first time you talk to him on the air after, after the New thing? Year. Yeah. All right. We'll be back with more Condor's At least C.J. Ludwig joins us next, live from the Dignity Health Studios inside the Bakersfield, California. Don't go anywhere.